Now our idea uh, when we started with the project, we started 2014, uh, was um, to uh, uh, do a research on how much support we can do for a rider, bringing rider assistance system on a motorcycle to the next level. Uh, and we started off with uh, creating a, a driving dynamic model, how a motorcycle rides. And on the other hand, uh, we did an automation of all the, the inputs that a rider can do to a motorcycle. You see what kind of development we have uh, on the car side. Uh, cars getting more and more intelligent, they get automated, connected. Uh, and stuff like that, and the traffic out, out there will, will change. You, you see that in Las Vegas, we have automated cars here. Um, and I think we have to integrate the motorcycle into that new traffic uh, environment. Uh, so also motorcycle has to be more intelligent in the future, it has to have abilities to communicate, and all that stuff is integrated in, in that uh, research bike. Uh, and we see how to integrate that, uh, the, the motorcycle itself, into the traffic of the future. I think all the system itself are not that complicated. For example, the, the side stand, it's, it's just a normal automated side stand with just a simple solution for a research bike. None of these uh, kind of technologies are rocket science at, at this stage. But altogether, if you put them all together, you have the ability at, uh, at this stage to go uh, for a self-riding motorcycle. And I think that the secret behind that is, is um, the driving dynamic model that we have. So that's a piece of software that knows how to ride a motorcycle, who knows about counter steering and stuff like that, the, motor dynamic, uh, the motorcycle dynamics. If you have that in real time, uh, you have the ability inside of the motorcycle to, to ride. Where we have a benefit out of a system like this, let's compare it with a car. A car knows a lot about its own driving dynamics. And if the system recognizes, for example, that the car is getting in a critical situation, uh, it will take countermeasures. Uh, and simple as that, that's the idea also uh, behind that project. If we know what the bike should do in that moment, we can think about what can we do to bring it to a benefit to the rider. As we said before, um, you will not see self-driving motorcycles on the road uh, in the near future. I think we will never see self-driving motorcycles because it doesn't make sense, obviously. But you will see parts of that te technology. Uh, uh, if it is a benefit, if it makes motorcycling safer, we will have that in, all, in our serious production bike in the near future.